Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 26120.2510. As you saw with the previous build, Microsoft is starting to roll out a lot of new AI features in the dev channel in which they want to test out the new recall feature or Copilot Plus PCs. I'm just hoping that Microsoft doesn't forget that there are a lot more users that use the dev channel and don't have a Copilot Plus PC and are not interested in recall or anything like that. So I'm hoping that they don't forget that, but we'll see what comes next. In this video, I'm going to briefly mention what are the new things related to recall, click to do, and all the other AI features. And also, we have some news related to these features because Microsoft is starting to roll them out to more devices that have the new AMD and Intel CPUs, which have the new MPU technology. But we're going to talk about that in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all, as I I've said Microsoft is introducing these new experiences for AMD and Intel powered Copilot Plus PCs. So as far as I know, I think you still need a Copilot Plus PC, but it can also have the latest AMD and Intel drivers. I recently built my new computer, so I have the latest generation of the Intel CPU, and maybe I'm going to test out on my main computer if I am able to enable the new recall function and all that. But Microsoft is also providing the official driver. This is a driver for Intel, the Intel NPU driver, and we also have the official AMD driver for the NPU experience also on AMD. So if you have maybe a Copilot Plus PC or a PC that has the latest gen of these CPUs and you are enrolled in the dev channel, you can test out these features most likely. Now some news related to Recall. Microsoft talks about expanding the support for Recall and right now Recall is only available in a few languages, Chinese, English, French, German, Japanese and Spanish and it is not yet available in all regions with expanded availability coming over time. We're also getting the new co-creator function in Paint. Basically you can describe what you like to create and you have the style that you can select and also the creativity so I think that is pretty interesting basically you can draw something and the co-creator will improve the image that you've done so I think this is a pretty interesting feature of course available for Copilot Plus PCs we're also getting restart image and image creator in the photos app image creator lets you generate brand new images from simple text prompts and also restart image allows you to take an existing photo and apply a variety of artistic styles and that is also pretty interesting there are also new ways to engage with click to do. You can use the Windows key plus mouse click or Win plus Q through the snipping tool. And there are also some other improvements in click to do, but you can check those out in the article below. Moving away from the AI features in Windows 11 in the latest dev channel build, we're also getting the modernized Windows Hello with the new Windows Hello visual communications, the new dialogues for pass keys and so on. The Microsoft is also disabling the shortened time and date system tray to fix some issues. So that is also the case on the better channel, but they will re-enable that in a future build. In the latest dev channel build for laptops, Microsoft is also introducing some updated battery icons that are changed, of course, depending on your battery status, if it has the energy saver on or off, or when it's not charging and charging. And along with that, Microsoft is also adding more battery related changes, labels for icons in the battery usage graph, which look pretty good. We're going to see some screenshots from Phantom of Earth on Twitter about those. And we also get in settings, the new options for the advanced camera settings, basically allowing you to change some advanced settings related to your camera. There's also a new Microsoft Store update, which is a pretty interesting one because Microsoft will very soon start to implement the ability to update Win32 apps or third-party apps directly from the Microsoft Store. So I think this is great news. We also have some fixes in this build, for example, related to the taskbar and system tray. Microsoft fixed a few issues impacting taskbar and Explorer EXE reliability related to audio, fixed an underlying issue which could lead to USB audio devices going to sleep after one minute of idle time, not waking up until the PC was rebooted, fixed an underlying issue which could lead you to unexpectedly hear a mute or unmute noise in certain headsets, fixed an underlying issue which could lead to the audio on certain audio devices unexpectedly going to 100% on boot or after sleep. We also have an issue that was fixed which could lead to Excel sometimes hanging on launch when opening certain files. There are also some other fixes related to recall and other parts of Windows, but you can check those out in the article below if you're interested. And also there are a few known issues related to some rollback problems, recall, click to do, and so on. All of those will be in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future articles like this one. Ozzy Manu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.